New at 6 o'clock tonight, a nursing home that was affected by Hurricane Harvey has been denied its effort to rebuild. Today, city council members in Friendswood talked about the decision to block the rebuilding of the Friendswood Health Care Center. Channel 2's Brandon Walker live in Friendswood with what they said. Brandon? Well, Dominique, a few moving parts here, and it all comes down to zoning laws. You see that sign here. It says reopening in early 2018. Well, it's July, so nowhere near early in the year. Officials tell us that this facility was built in the 1970s, so it was grandfathered into zoning laws. Part of it is called for multifamily housing. Part of it called for single-family housing on this property, though because it was grandfathered in, no one made a big deal of it until Harvey came. And here's why as we walk across the street. Here is Mary. Creek. It swelled during Harvey, sending water rushing across the street some four feet into the facility, leaving all of the residents inside in need of desperate rescue. And officials say because of the public safety, this facility as it's currently zoned or as it's currently built doesn't need to be rebuilt in its uh, previous capacity. I think it's the responsibility of our government to ensure that we do the best that we can to keep our citizens out of harm's way. That's why you see the fencing. That's why, despite the signage, the facility has yet to reopen. It's complicated, says John Scott and Steve Rocky of the Friendswood City Council. They're about 60 feet from the creek, and that creek flooded. Uh, and the creek uh, flooded and put significant amount of water in into the building. Uh, uh, on that property. About four feet, officials say, in part thanks to Mary Creek directly across the street, which swelled. City Council John Scott says he was among several who stopped by as the creek raged to help. We went down, checked, and sure enough, every resident was still in there with, with I think, four nurses and four foot of water sitting in wheelchairs. Over 60 residents, officials say. We've shown you what Harvey meant to Friendswood, the flooding, the rescues. Those as Friendswood Health Care Center were gathered and moved to Friendswood High School, we're told, before being moved to a similar facility in Huntsville. But as far as rebuilding goes, not that easy because part of the facility isn't on land owned by multifamily units. To rebuild, it would need rezoning. Unanimously, the Friendswood City Council rejected that bid made by owners of the facility. We voted not to rezone this property because we felt it was a danger for that particular kind of use where people who um, who would have difficulty uh, getting uh, getting taken out during a storm turns out said suspicion proved to be the case at least according to an inspection report post Harvey which you can see for yourself on Medicare.gov which found quote the facility failed to initiate the evacuation of 68 residents and 12 staff in a timely manner to prevent residents from sitting in flood water overnight and that report continued to suggest that even after the floodwaters came, the facility didn't work hard enough to get people on buses to get them out of here safely. Now, Channel 2 did reach out to the owner of this facility for comment. We've yet to hear back. Once we do, of course, we'll be sure to let you know about it. We are live for you tonight in Friendswood. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank